This is right up my alley. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video for you today. Max sent over their new Super Radiant Serum Foundation and I have it on today. I have thoughts and I have some interesting comparisons from this formulation to some other formulations that I already have in MAC. If you're already a MAC lover and you own some of the foundations, this is gonna be really interesting for you and you need to see it because you may not be the same color in this formulation as you are in say a Studio Fix. So this is really interesting. I hope you stick with me. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave and share with all your friends. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie. I'm a 51 year old, almost 52, professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist. I've been in the beauty industry for over 25 years. The first high-end makeup I ever used and loved was MAC Cosmetics. I've worked with MAC in the past. so it's a Special treat when they send me products. I'm hoping I received a color that matches me. They gave me a really good range. It's hard for me because I self tan all the time as you guys know if you're not new here. I self tan and right now Mm. I don't know. I'm a little bit in between. They sent over NC18, NC20, and an NW15. I'm sure I can make one of these work. What else did they send me? I don't even know what this is. I waited to do this with you guys. They sent over the 170S brush, S meaning synthetic, and I have this one. This is the original and it's the 170. I use this all the time and I purchase this myself. I have a lot of MAC brushes and just being a professional makeup artist, most of us have a lot of MAC products. They also sent over the Hyper Real Serumizer. Oh, I didn't know that. Darn, I already did my skincare. I'm gonna use this in another video for sure. So I'm excited. I think what I'll do is apply the foundation on one side with the brush and on one side with a sponge just to see. I know some of you guys like sponges over brushes, so we'll do that. I do have a few errands to run today. I gotta walk the dogs and I've gotta clean my fridge. I am having such a hard time. My son went off to basic training. I have one child left. We have four in total. I have one at home. She doesn't need a lot in the house. So I'm finding it really hard to buy groceries. I end up throwing so much out now and I don't like that. So I have to relearn how to do everything, how to cook and how to shop for just the three of us. So. The MAC website states that it won't cake, it won't crease, it'll cause breakouts. There's 56 natural radiant shades. I'm reading up here, by the way, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> 48 shades are available to check online, so you can scan the code and you can see what it suggests for your color, which I think is really cool. I've never tried that before, and I, th I think I should try that, actually. Maybe I should try that now. It says that it gives you an instant hydration for a plumper, smoother look. 33 skincare ingredients, including 10% hyaluronic acid. It has vitamin E, jojoba oil, and olive oil. It claims to have a 12-hour radiant long wear. It's water, sweat, humidity, and transfer resistant. It's safe for sensitive skin. And it's made in Canada, which I'm very proud of. Like as if I made it. It does say to use it with the 170S foundation brush. I will use that one and I'm gonna use a sponge as well on the other side just to show you what it looks like. I am sitting on my feet so my posture's not that good. I've been liking using my sponge lately. I tend to be really heavy handed and that's with everything I do honestly. I don't know how to have a light touch unless I'm doing other people's makeup. On myself, I just kind of plop it on. I usually put too much and it's silly, but the sponge I'm finding, make sure that I don't do that. So if you find that you're heavy handed with your makeup application, Using a sponge is probably a good idea. I'm excited to try this, but I will definitely show it in another video. How does this happen? I wanna be cool like this and wear multi layers of necklaces, but <laughs> that's what happens all the time. These either get caught or the back piece kind of turns around and it looks silly. How do you guys do that? By the way, this necklace is a Canadian brand as well. This is by Pilgrim. You can't see it. There we go. I'll leave a link for you. All right, let's get going. So I wonder if I have to shake it first. I will just in case. So if you're not aware, NC is more of a yellow undertone and NW is more of a, not a pink undertone. Like the N means neutral, but it's a ne neutral warm and the NC is a neutral cool, which in my mind never makes sense because I think of a cool as in like pink and I think of warm as in yellow. So MAC colors are a little bit different. I always found that really hard. Okay, that is the NW15. And I'm usually not that color. And we're gonna let that sit a minute too. I can tell you that that is just obviously not my color. My hair is in my way. I tried to make my hair curly today and it was wild, so I had to put it up. 
Let's back up a minute. I'm actually gonna put a good amount on so you can really see. So that is the NW. I am considered a neutral undertone. I'm surprised that's a 15. And that is the NC18. These are those new glasses I got from Amazon. For sure, I'm not gonna be this one. Oh, this is NC20. Oh, maybe. Interesting. I shouldn't have worn this top today because my shoulders have a lot more color to them. I can tell already that this formula is very hydrating. This is a no, because I can see that. Let me get that one off. I actually feel like the NC20 is better. Now, if you're unsure, remember that we usually have different colors going throughout our face. So I have a bit more redness here. I'm actually kind of light in here because I wear bangs often and then the sun doesn't hit there. Plus I wear sunscreen. So keep that in mind when you're matching your foundation. You don't want to match to the lightest part of your face and then put it in other areas like for you you might have a lot more color on your forehead because you've seen the sun maybe you've been out on a boat all summer this area is going to be quite dark for you compared to the rest of you so keep that in mind because you don't want to do that really want to take everything into consideration so this is the nc20 it goes on looking quite yellow eh i really should have done this when i had a self tan because that's when i picked out my colors Did you guys see the video I posted of the Maybelline 24 hour skin tint? It's a Superstay 24 hour skin tint. It was a little bit darker than my skin as well, but I had a tank top on that day. So you could see that when I stepped back, it matched my whole body. I do feel like this would be that case. Yeah, you see how that's much darker. <laughs> so that's what you wanna keep in mind. Get my ear. If I were to compare this to the Maybelline Superstay, this definitely feels more hydrating. It feels more like a moisturizer in a way. Look at this. I'm just filming like, <laughs> goodness. Problem with naturally curly hair. The color is definitely off, which is fine. That's not the fault of the foundation. Okay, so let me try now with a sponge and I'm gonna apply it a little bit like that. does go very fast with a sponge, doesn't it? With the sponge, I can see a little bit of my redness right here. It sheared it out a little bit more, which is fine because you can just go back and pounce it on and kind of layer it up a little bit. Yeah, see, and now it's gone. So I'm going to use, this is old. I hope it's still good. <laughs> this is the Studio Finish Concealer. It is in NW20. So I'm going to brighten up my under eye here. So glad this is cleared up. I had some eczema here and it seems to have gotten better. I don't know why. Isn't that interesting? This is NW20. Hold on. Okay, so this is NW20. I'm just gonna pack it on there. I'm confused. And then this is NW18 in the foundation. You see the difference? This is the foundation. This is the NW20 concealer. I think that's why I'm confused. I have other foundations. Hold on a second. Let's really test this out. So I have the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is in NC30. And this is NC20. What is happening? The new one definitely feels darker. All right, hold on. Okay, I have this palette by MAC, which I love by the way. This is the full coverage foundation 12 pan palette, obviously really good for makeup artists. I have them all labeled here. So let me take NC20 from here and then NC20 here. Okay, that's quite a difference. So not saying that's right or wrong, but you can't go by what you normally are in MAC. Definitely a different tone in the new formula. This is where that scanner will come in for the virtual try-on. I'm gonna definitely do that once I'm done filming so that we can see what it comes up with. This is NW20 in the full cover. And then that is the NW18. I have the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and this is NC27, okay. And then this will be the NC20. 
Like I can make this work when I have a self tan. This is quite yellow and that's a 20 and that's the 27. So how would we counteract that? Probably go lighter. Anyway, let's continue. I'm just gonna push that in with my finger. I like pushing my concealer in with my finger, just especially a cream product like this, the warmth of the finger, oh, there goes my phone. The warmth of your finger will help, well, it warms it up. <laughs> it makes it easier to spread. Not that it's hard to spread, but obviously not runny or fluid, right? You guys see me use this all the time. This is Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. It is probably in every video. If it's not broke, don't fix it. That's kind of how I feel about this. It's just one of those products that works with everything. It evens out my eyelid and helps everything stay. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown and this is in the shade medium. I'm gonna use a nice fluffy brush. Don't want a lot because I already feel a little bit dark as it is because this color isn't matching perfect. And I always get the top of my hairline. And remember, because this is a powder, that's basically set the foundation in through here. So when I use a setting powder, I'm gonna place it where I haven't put the powder. I got really excited when I put this top on. I have a lip liner from Glow Skin Beauty and it's called Pronto. And I feel like this is gonna match perfectly. And it is. This top looks more red on camera, I feel like, but it's actually a pink. It looks really pretty. My mom got it for me at Costco. See those darn necklaces? I moved. There. <laughs> I will use this palette though. I love it. What is this called? The Connect In 4 eyeshadow palette, and this is the Unfiltered Nudes. I would say that this is my most used eyeshadow palette because, you know, it goes with everything and it's perfect for every day. I haven't even put a lipstick on yet, hold on. I have Laura Mercier lipsticks that I wanna try, but not today, but they're in my collection to try in another video. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Have you guys tried these before? This one is in glasses. Pave the Road, number 130, and yeah. Perfect. I got these brushes sent to me from Belly. They're an Amazon find. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna dip into this color right here, which is, I believe this is Wedge. I'm gonna take it all over my lid, actually. I'm gonna keep it very simple. Just keep it classic looking. Classic. Can I keep it to one color? I don't know. Sometimes that's all you need. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of shadow. Makes you look like you did something, but really you didn't do a whole lot. Bringing it up. I wonder if I could use this color for my eyebrows. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. Finish your eye, Julie. This is the attention deficit. That works. There you go. I feel like I missed putting foundation right there. I did. <laughs> How was everybody's weekend? I have four kids. I should show you pictures of my kids. I don't know if they'd mind that or not. I don't think so. My husband's birthday was yesterday. Mine's in three weeks. And he'll keep kind of poking jabs at me and saying, wow, you look really good for 52. And I'm like, thanks. And then I realize, wait, I'm not 52. <laughs> so I always bug him how much older he is than I am during these three weeks. We're both Libras. Yeah, that looks good. Um, got to powder underneath my eye. This is another brush by Belly. I'm gonna take wedge underneath. Keep it really simple. Can I keep it really simple? I don't know if I have that in me or not. No, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a stiffer brush and go into this same color, which is wedge. And I want to make sure to pack that on because I really, with that brush that I used, it, it dusted over it lightly, but I really want to have an impact there and make sure there's no, you know, patchiness. Yeah, I feel better about that. And that's not the eyeshadow. That is just the brush I used. There, I feel better. Now I'm gonna use that other brush and blend up. I knew it needed something. So same color guys, same color, just a different brush. Your tools 
really can make a difference. Oh, speaking of that, guys, I am starting to do online courses, not lessons, not courses. I did mention this in the last video and I'm gonna continue to mention it just in case, you know, hopefully I continue to get new people here. I have a website, it's www.julie-meekle.com and you can see what I'm offering on the website, but basically what it is, is it's just an online virtual lesson and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. What I'd like to do is I would like you to sit in front of bright light or a window and what I'd like you to do is set your makeup up that you already own, set it up in front of you and we can go through it and we can decide, okay, this is great for you. Is it working? Is it not working? Why is it working? Why is it not working? We can talk about tools that might make your application a little bit easier. We can talk about your eyeshadow, your mascaras. What issues, like do you have your mascara running all the time? Is your foundation not staying? We can talk about skincare. We can talk about hair. We can, we can talk about it all. And yeah, we're just gonna have fun. Because I'm not affiliated with any brand in particular, like I can give you affiliate links, which I will do. I'll share affiliate links if you wanna purchase new products but this isn't about you purchasing new products this is about hopefully making what you have work and if you want to purchase new things definitely that's an option for you but our session together won't be about what you need to buy which I love we will make what you have in your collection work unless you want to just go for it and buy a whole new collection of makeup I can help you with that too other than that it's not about selling I promise it won't be like that I'm using Benefit Fan Fest mascara. If you're in Canada, I don't know why you don't have this in the US, but Revive 7, I used the Olaplex Lash Serum and my lashes were horrible. So I went back to my Revive 7. It is so good. My lashes are back to the way they used to be. Thank goodness. I was getting kind of upset about it. And I don't think you have it in the States. I don't know why. I think it might be made in Canada. Yep, Toronto, Canada. So good. I'm going to use a little bit of this one. That one's called Send Neutrals. It has a little bit of a shimmer though. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, that's what this is missing. It's missing a neutral or like a, a light shade like this one, matte. Okay, and the blush that I'm going to use is Dior. This is the Rosy Glow and this is in pink. I love this blush. very very user friendly so I know it looks bright but it's perfect this is a fairly stiff brush that I'm using I would prefer a blush that I can build rather than it going on really powerful and then we have to work to blend it out I feel like I repeat myself in my videos but I don't know who's watching this and if you've seen me before and then for my powder, this is by House Labs. It's the Bio Blur Setting Powder, Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 110. First, I wanna make sure that all the creases are patted out, and then I'm gonna tap it in. And right in the center here. Okay, so I'm gonna go off and do my errands. I'm gonna clean my fridge, fun, and walk the dogs, and I will be back to check in. Okay, guys, it is 10.03. It is bedtime for me. Excuse my nose, I have been editing the first part of this video, so I have my glasses marked. I am going to put on some lip balm. Let's take a good look at my skin. When I'm looking at my 10 times mirror, I can definitely see shine in through here. Um, my chin looks okay. So I would say even though I powdered in here, my oils came through and I'm not that oily, my skin feels very comfortable, doesn't feel tight or dry at all, and it doesn't feel greasy either. So really it's just the way that it's looking in here that I feel like I'd need to touch up. The rest of it looks really good. I'm gonna use a pressed powder and see what it looks like when I touch up. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just gonna tap in and see what happens. 
Darn Glasses Mark. Now that I've powdered and touched up, it looks good. It did not settle into my fine lines. All the products that I mentioned will be listed in the description box and I will pin a comment at the top of the comment section for you. It's, it's so helpful if you use my links. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me out. I do appreciate it if you use them, but no pressure at all. I feel like I'm on a roll with the YouTube videos. I'm gonna try to post at least one every week. I always post short videos on here, but I'm loving the longer content and I hope you do too. I'm gonna go wash my face off and head to bed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.